Well, Maria, yeah, they were able to make the discovery thanks to one of those genealogy websites like 23andMe and Ancestry.com. Now, her family had moved to Texas and hadn't heard from her from all of this time, but this is only half of the story. The other half is identifying her killer. Now that we know who she is, we're hoping to find out more about how she came to be in Bedford and who killed her. Tonight, the New Hampshire Attorney General's office identifying remains found more than 50 years ago as 26-year-old Catherine Ann Alston. Alston lived on Beacon Hill in Boston before her body was found in Bedford, New Hampshire back in 1971. Authorities had been unable to identify her remains, instead releasing these computer-generated renderings hoping for tips. But recently, there was a breakthrough. Generic genealogy doing what it does was able to make a match then we were able to speak with the members of the family and confirm that match both genetically and then from interviewing them the match was a sibling who made their dna searchable via a commercial genealogy site family confirming to investigators alston was born in chelsea graduated from dorchester high school and attended boston university that's where she met her husband ralph garrett jr this photo was from their wedding in newton though the two divorced shortly after investigators say alston was murdered though her cause of death is unknown they've ruled out her now deceased ex-husband as a suspect but they're hoping to speak with her former roommate at 36 beacon street david cormier who never reported her missing at the time. There is a whole network of individuals who knew who Catherine Alston was. Um, and when she went missing, none of those people reported her missing. Now, authorities saying Cormier is not a suspect. Authorities are just trying to speak with him at this point. Alston's remains, by the way, had been with the medical examiner's office in New Hampshire for the past 50 years. But the attorney general's office confirming to us tonight that they have since been returned to her family in Texas. Well, I'm on Beacon Hill tonight. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center. Peter